How to filter lists in Business Central. In this video, I'd like to show you how to filter through lists in Business Central. This is important because if we have a list with data, we would like to be able to sort through the data as we need. First, what I'll do is I will navigate to a page containing a list, so I'll have values to filter off of. For this example, I'll navigate to the general ledger entries. So here on my page, we can filter on really any of these fields and more. We'll navigate to the action bar and click on this little funnel right here to open up the filter pane. From here, we can begin adding our filters. Some filters will require some selection. For example, document type. I can select document type. I get a drop down menu where I can select something like payment or invoice or both. Now that I've checked those two off, my list only contains payments. And if I scroll down a little bit more, invoices. You can also use certain operators for mass filtering through numbers and text. For example, I'll filter on document number. Say we wanted to find all our entries starting with PS dash. I can put PS and hit enter. And you'll notice we get no results. The first reason is because filters are case sensitive. To bypass that, we'll use the at symbol. And this operator will indicate it's no longer case sensitive. You'll notice that there's still no results. And the reason for that is because it's searching for the exact string here, PS. We can use this star or asterisk operator and press enter. And that indicates that my document number begins with the string PS dash. Now we can filter on a number field, something like amount. If we wanted to filter the amount, we could use operators as well. For example, if we wanted any invoices or payments greater than or equal to 1,000, so greater than, equal to 1,000, hit enter. You'll notice now all my accounts are greater than 1,000. Please note that we can also filter on multiple values, and that's by using this little vertical line operator right here. So if you noted this vertical line here, that indicates or. So this is indicating the document type is a payment or an invoice. So if we wanted the amounts to be greater than or equal to 1,000 or less than 100, just go here. Add the vertical line. Less than 100. When I press enter, it'll also indicate any amounts that are less than 100. Afterwards, we can save this filter as a view by pressing the save button right here. We can give it a name. I'll name mine view and then enter. Now that it's saved, next time we're on this page, we can easily select view to apply the same filters and we can toggle between all and view. This concludes how to filter lists in Business Central.